Bones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin. But they still reveal things to us, as they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table. The story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. Hello, and welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater for this commentary session. My name is Aaron, and I usually play Sam Faluge. And you played another character tonight, too. Tonight, I also played somebody else. <laughs> Dolph. Dolph. Not Klaus. <laughs> not Klaus. <laughs> That's his last name, not Klaus. Not, not Klaus. Klaus. <laughs> I played not Klaus. Dolph. This is Johnny, and I usually play Chime North, and I also played uh, that other girl. Trace. Trace. <laughs> this is Jeff. And I usually play Jerry Land, and tonight I also played Kick. And this is Jeremy, and it looks like moving forward I might have split personality disorder because it looks like I might be playing Julian Illix and Bear in the foreseeable future. <laughs> in the same scene. <laughs> oh, yes, in the same that, scene. It's it probably coming. will. One stairway away. Yeah. yeah. And I'm Jordan, and I am the Doombringer, the GM. Horrible, horrible human being. I want to say thank you for our new player, Ellie. Yes. I want to say a special thanks to Ellie. She was not able to stick around for the commentary episode, sadly, because I think she's got a lot of really cool things to say about yes. how today went. Yes. I'm yes. like, my, why I, did I do this? <laughs> I feel so bad for her. Yeah, I did not know that I was going to leave her sitting there with her head wrapped in her arms so many times, at least once per session. Well, I warned her that whatever you get attached to, Jordan will take and threaten. So, hopefully. Fair warning. You gave her fair warning. Yes, I did. And I lived up to that. So, it's like, oh, I like animals. All right, animals are going to be a thing. Bye-bye, animals. All All right, I'm latching on to this character. All right, this character is going to be in trouble. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Which is funny, because if you have listened to The Angel's Guard, we kind of joked in between episodes well half joking and half like totally Serious. expecting it yeah. that especially at the point where the military was taking Bear and Archie into custody oh that part th- saying that alright Bear's gonna be dead cause we kinda joked Jordan figured it out it's like yeah if you have a side character that's a kid don't name it an animal name cause Angel's Guard we had Toad and then he got killed. Toad died and yeah. then it was it looked like it was imminent that Bear was going to bite it as well. I mean, we left on a cliffhanger. Bear still might not be long for this world. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't... Ex- I fully don't expect Bear to stick around I mean, he has for no face. a long time. But... Sometimes you have did to stick around longer than expected. expected. Yeah. I expected it to be yeah. gone. Thanks to Ellie. Sometimes you have to face the music, though. <laughs> <laughs> the face puns aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> I should just face up to that fact. Yes. I guess. N- never mind. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Come on, man. Face your fears. Come on. No. Give us no. a bad pun. I have no skin in the game. No! <laughs> oh, no skin in the game. Oh, good call. Neither did Bear, actually. <laughs> I was contemplating having when uh, Katari, Chime, and Sam came in to find Archie and Bear for Bear to go back to his normal self and be like very charismatic and very like hi <laughs> hi how you guys doing my name's Bear and everybody's looking at him and he's like what I'm a real boy <laughs> what? I'm a real boy I have no strings to hold me down <laughs> Um, I I wanted to ask her about this. I didn't get a chance, but Archie seems to be looking for wa- electronics for some reason. It's not so, exactly electronics, and I she, she, build a weapon. She, sounded like she it. yeah she shared with me. But I don't know. If, I mean, we'll we'll let her talk about yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. But I thought it was so funny, and she's like, "I'm looking in the dumpster for wires," and I'm like, "Hey, yeah, you are. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to need those." <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to do some self medication here. At but some that's point that's or another. that's funny, and we can talk about this. The androids, the similarities between androids that weren't mm-hmm. in creating them, they were coincidences, but kind of have come to 
be an overarching. Maybe this is a theme for all the androids. Um, she built her character one with amnesia at, after a certain point, mm -hmm. and Archie thinks he's human. Right. Mm -hmm. So, which was the same as as Bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I had I honestly had so much fun just like shrugging off all these obvious tells. It's like. What are these shoes looking down at his <laughs> That was funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so fun to use descriptive language to tell something without using the exact words. It's like, oh yeah, you figure out you're a robot. No, you realize you have no skin and your face is made out of metal. <laughs> right. Yeah. The amnesia thing was is similar and all the androids so far have been also tied heavily to animals. The animals. And mm -hmm. I know that was big in the world building. Mm -hmm. And then Jordan did that with Sarani. And it was totally unintentional when that happened with Bear. And as Ellie was building her character, um, not even knowing that part of the, the what had already happened, she was like, oh, I want my character to be big on animals. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that, that was something that, like, stood out to me like i was trying to think of how to get her in with the rest of the group and i'm glad that you all met her but i was i was thinking it's going to be easier to bring the street kids back yeah. for a reprisal yeah i to, love that yeah yeah that was good love. <laughs> honestly of all the side shots the street kids were the most fun for me to play See, I, I love the school, the students. The students, the students was, was That fun was too. the most fun for me to play oh. because I freaked everyone out. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. I even freaked Jordan out. <laughs> Which is saying something. Yeah, I guess it is saying something. Yeah. But, you know, the nice thing about it was we've got a, a small character, a small child who's already in the world, has an interest with animals, mm -hmm. shares that with this new character. Well, it might be easier to bring them in that way than to go with Sam, who likes animals as well. But there's no real point for Sam to try and go to... Right. <laughs> Sam, who likes animals, but killed a cat the first session. No, he didn't kill a cat. Never killed a cat. That's right. He gave the cat. the cat to kill the person. Yes, he gave the cat to kill the person to make up for killing the mother. Yep. I rescued that cat. That cat was going to starve on the street. Changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> So what did you think of the Black House? I'm really interested to know more about it. What else is going on there? Or is it just a prison? Yeah, it well, is just a prison. Is it a prison at all? Is it a prison? I mean, we know that they're doing experiments there. So, well, we were, we, we thought it was a prison. Right. Because that was the information that Chime had. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's still a bit of an enigma yeah. at this point. Even though we're in the right in the middle of it. It's mm -hmm. like, all right, we have... Probably barely scratch the surface of what this place yeah. is. Barely. Pun not intended. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the thing. All we know so far, we've seen two floors. Yeah. I mean... Well, three. Three. If we include the entrance. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't even see the whole floor. We just went through the first door and then downstairs. Mm-hmm. So, and what else is here? What? Uh, yeah. And are the Chrome Domes actually the council? No. Because working for uh, the council. That was the implication that, I got. Yeah, that, so, that's interesting. The implication I got was uh, Archie said, I would I want to speak with the council. And the Void said, I will speak with you later. Yes. Yeah, so I thought yeah. those were actually members of the council. No, yes. I believe those three are the council. But if that's Is, the case, that but, means the fire drinks have already at least infiltrated the council. Or have they? Or has the council infiltrated the fire drinks? So... Sam found this org chart. This org chart pretty much shows who's in charge of what within the, the mole rats. The, her, the mole rats. Well, the top three are the flame, the void, and the sculptor. Uh, the sculptor. Which we can all make guesses as to who those would be. You know, one being a fire proxy, one being an air proxy, and one being an earth proxy. Yes. Are well, <laughs> well, but that's what their names would suggest. But so, are, are they the proxies or are they the elementals? And the elementals. If it's the elementals, that means the flame, who already it's existed, Choler. took over Choler. That Cho or, no, 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 no. The other way around. You think Choler, Choler took, took over the elemental? It's the elemental in a new body. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what, that's what saying. I was saying. That's what so you're saying. So these three elementals are, are the, the council. council. The elementals are the council. Not the proxies, the elementals. 
Uh, it's okay. an interesting theory. All right, or, that's my current. That's my current. Or theory. it could have been still the same elemental, and Choler's not dead. That was actually Choler, and, uh, and with yes. the same elemental. And that is also possible. Which begs the question: At that point, do they really have anything to do with the council? Because, oh. well, or are they just presenting themselves? As yes. The yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like they, huh? Well, they have to have something, have some intimate knowledge about the council in order to get into this base. Yeah, to infiltrate the military base. So it, either they're either they have infiltrated the council, or they are the council, because mm-hmm. they know about the council enough to be able to infl- get into this base. Correct. Yes. So yes, yeah, somehow either. The fire drakes have infiltrated the council, or council infiltrated infiltrated the fire drakes. One way or the other, they're associated. So either the fire drakes are much more powerful than we thought, which I'm leaning towards, Mm -hmm. because healing hands is much weaker than we thought. Yeah. Or the council is much more powerful than even we thought to have infiltrated the fire drakes already, and essentially running the fire drakes. You have infiltrated them, but not take them out. Right. To me, seems like that's not like, oh, they're not able to take them out. They've decided <laughs> not to take well, them I out think, for some reason. So well, I think <laughs> if it's the council infiltrated the fire drakes, it's probably that they're using the fire drakes because they, they're obviously high ups in the fire drakes if they have, if it's that way with Troller. And they're using the fire drakes as a terrorist organization yeah. to push further agendas of their own. That's possible. So I, I think I might have mentioned this before, and back before the chip and pin, the new chips for credit cards and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Also, the the credit card companies used to be losing billions of dollars on credit card fraud, right. but didn't care. They didn't care enough to do anything about it because they were bringing in so much more money that the billions of dollars they were losing yeah. were it was ne- it's ne- a drop in the bu- a drop in the bucket. Yeah. So it would have cost more to fix it. Is that where the council is at? You know the the effort it costs to take care of the fire drakes is more effort than the damage they're actually causing to the council. So they're just like meh. Or the question is if you have a, one organization that's sowing terror, you can point to it and say, look, look. This is why we need more power. This is why we need more power. Yeah. That so, would mean that it's a sanctioned No. Semi-sanctioned. Not sanctioned. Just a sanctioned using, Yeah. But yeah, that kind of thing happens Terrorist all the time group. in yeah. the real world. <laughs> you small yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if I can allude to a conversation we had earlier, most of your con- <clears throat> your, your council theories are wrong. Well, well yes, yeah. but we have like five council theories right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said most of them. <laughs> Which ones? <are> <laughs> he didn't say all of them. So, so we're, yeah. we're, we are right on, on oh. something we have said. We just don't know what it is. We said the council exists. We'll figure it out. We said the council. We'll figure it out. the council. Eventually. Eventually we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Or will we? Or we'll die. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or we'll die. So what did you think of the powers that the three exhibited? I mean, we'll start with the easy one. The flame. He can fly. Yeah. He's troller. And he can flame jet and stuff. So he's either troller or the element that was troller. The elemental formerly known as Troller. <laughs> well, when I turned around and shot him, did I recognize him? You know. Well, we never we never established that because Bear interrupted. We never established that you hit him either. No, I hit him. Did you? It just didn't do any damage. Oh. See, I thought we assumed that you recognized at least his voice. Yeah, that's what I I assumed I recognized his voice because his helmet was off and he shouted your name. So. Yeah, we we never really said if. I just if I heard my face. name turned around and shot. Exactly. Could have been some other reintegrate well, that you theoretically, but worked with before. That would like, be so boring and disinteresting. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> it, it would be. Either it, the elemental it, or it would it not is be torturing totally. my character. Yeah. Unless, ooh, unless it was another family member. Do you have more family? Tell me more. The no, answer is no, 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 no more family. No more family. Well, I mean, like I, in my in my no more family. backstory, it references my parents, but just vaguely. You know, it doesn't, <sighs> Johnny. Well, I'm saying like it. Every all my my focus was not all on my parents. It was on my relationship with Choler. Yeah, it was. Little yeah. do you know that they encouraged Choler to treat you the way that he did. So I, I just assumed that at this point in my life, they probably died. Okay. If not, we can make that happen. Yes. You're starting to talk like me. <laughs> I mean, backstory. Parents died. <laughs> <laughs> 
orphans at the age of two. <laughs> so, so the flame is obviously yes, obviously Troller or his elemental. I thought the oh. void was definitely well, was air. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? I guess it could also be water. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? The because way it was ta- the way it's man. Well, to me, the way it talked but, to Archie, like it, the word choice it used, seemed like but, very void. Uh, demonstrated the ability to read their thoughts, or you know, at least tell whether the other person is lying or not. Yes. Which elemental has that ability? I would say air. Okay. I would say air for that one. So I'm oh. going to go ahead and give you guys some hints. I like this idea. I'm going to give you some hints. There are three segments to society. Proxies, innates, oh, yeah. oh. and regulars. Innates. <gasps> no, yes, you're right. Because I caught on to this and I can't believe I forgot it. Because there was the one time when uh, Sam poked his head into the room where all three of them were there. Yeah. And the void was sitting there in front of him and was like, if I can't push this one out. I was like, oh, there's someone else can do what Julian does. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So okay, so that, ma- uh, that suades me to think that the void is an innate. And that suades me more back towards that the three of them are the council. Because... Fire drakes All right, so would have nothing yeah. to do with... You yeah. said there are three elements to... Well, not elements. Three... Three parts to parts society. Parts society. You said... All right. So sculptor, then... Would be the common. Would be the common. Would be the, common. the base form for all the other two. If we're right about the yes. void being in a name. Also think about what all three were doing. Well, we don't know which one was which necessarily in the room. One was manipulating a fire proxy. A fire mm-hmm. elemental. One was carving, carving, the sculptor. Oh what yeah, he, what was he carving? He was the carving arms he... on his arms with. The oh, scalpel. yeah. Well, it's very physical. Though. Yeah, so it's carving. He was sculpting a person because that's not creepy at all. Also, think about what were the other things that were in the black house? <sighs> animals. Animals being put forced to bond. And held captive. Soldiers. The cells. entire uh, mole rat division. Were they all there? I don't think they were all there. Well, 150 of them were. So wait, hold on. I thought there were 150 total. I didn't realize 150 were in the building. Now, he said that was for, assigned to that building. Oh, okay. This goes back to how careful I am with my word choices. Yes. Yes. What happened to Archie at one point? Put to sleep. Yeah, basically was turned off by the void. Why? We have a spy amongst us. <laughs> oh, I doubt it. But so, what? What have we seen that the void can do? So, if we can debond elementals with their proxies. Well, that's what it was trying to do. Uh, we and assume it was ex- from the word choice, and it was expecting to do it and leave Crom functioning. Yes. So they could replace the <laughs> elemental with a different one. <laughs> Sorry. So what happened was that for Archie, in Archie's situation, the void pushed his elemental out. Causing him to go unconscious. Ca- causing him to shut down. Okay. So then how did the elemental come back? Why did the elemental come back? Is it the same, is it the elemental? same elemental? Or is and it or is it a spy? I doubt. I doubt it. I, th- I think it's the same elemental because it has the same memories, and we don't know yeah. how much Archie's personality has changed because we just got to know Archie. Yeah, and the the idea that the void would put a spy elemental into Archie without any idea of who well, Archie was. I'm not thinking was. about a spy elemental into Archie. I'm thinking that while he was shut down, they put hardware. I don't know. That's possible. Well, they, but that, the, the whole idea is that there's, there needs to be an expectation for Archie to go do something yes. that would be worthy of being spied on. All right. Well, we don't know what they were going to do with Archie. Honestly, I'm going to say this and I'm going to regret saying it. It seems more likely that the spy was put into Bear. It is more likely, yes. Right. If there is a spy. Yeah. Because, again, even Ellie brought it up, said... They just said it's more dangerous to put us yes. two together. Yeah. Why would they say that and then put us two together? That's true. Mm-hmm. But maybe they're playing on the fact that Archie 
showed a really strong desire to get back to bear. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was weird. There's a big open square in the middle of the city that nobody knows what happens in. Ugh, so many theories. And then there's the big mystery of how Julian and Jer were able to hear a fire elemental. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how many times have we experienced an elemental outside of the body? But did any of the rest of us hear that? Well, they were right next to it when it yelled. They, we were down a level. The dog that was fighting with Archie heard it. Did Archie or Bear hear it? I mean... Yeah. Who else was in the room with uh, with the three? They didn't hear it because they, they, they didn't They didn't react. Right. There was a dog in the room with them, but... Right. And we were, we were on the stairwell where they were fighting. Chime, yeah. Sam, and... Okay, so maybe I didn't c- communicate that part clearly. Th- they did hear. Okay, everyone heard. Everyone the, heard? Uh, you two heard because you were physically close enough. But it was also going on more of an elemental level. So that's what I assumed when the dog heard it. Right. Yeah. That it was more, it wasn't an audible sound at that point. It was, oh, the elementals are somehow linked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and the dog in the room was the same dog that was work, uh, working on... Archie. Really? Yeah. So it ran past them into the room? Yes. Oh. To guard, I guess. So it wasn't a call. I don't know what it was. Then. So, it w- well, here's the thing. Burning. They were they were in the middle of something. Yeah. So they couldn't immediately respond. It was an alert. At least one of them couldn't respond. The question is because Julian, up until that point, had had to have been connected to Talk the to. elemental to actually hear what it was but saying. It, it physically said it out loud. Well, which, I mean, honestly, that hasn't happened before. Yeah. Correct. We've never seen that. Right. Yeah, this is something new. Like I said, we have very limited experience with elementals outside the body also. Well, the the idea is that you could see the effects of them, mm-hmm. but you couldn't re- physically see them yeah. or hear them. You, They were just... This so we did see a fire elemental rogue before at the very beginning of this campaign. But that was bonded to somebody. Because bonding it was bonding. Like, and then it jumped from one body to the next body. Yes. So while it was bonding, you you could see yeah. what well, it while was, it was bonding. Yeah. While it was bonded, you could see what it was, it was doing. Hmm. So that that was a big shocker to me because I didn't totally didn't expect. So when you said you hear this, I was like, wait, what's going on? Why does Julian hear this? Right. <laughs> and then when you said Jared yeah, hears it too, I was like, wait. How in the heck is Jared yeah, hearing this? this Maybe there's an yeah. uh, explanation why Julian's hearing this. But for... Is this a new revelation of Julian's powers? But So everyone could hear it. Everyone who was within earshot. It was actually an audible sound. It was an actual audible sound. And it traveled along the elemental pathways, if you will. I don't know. That I thought that was interesting and a little bit mysterious. And I have no theories about that. I have some theories. Huh. I just looked up your word. <laughs> Uh oh. Huracan, often referred to as Heart of the Sky, is a Maya god of wind, storm, fire, one of the creator deities who participated in all three attempts at creating humanity. So it's the elemental god. <laughs> he tried three times to create humanity. Yeah. Uh, three attempts resulted in proxy and eight, if you will. Yeah. So elementals might believe. Yeah. That could be elemental faith. The elemental deity. That's new. Never talked to Shade about that yet. (laughs) Which, you might ask him what that means if you heard it. Did you hear it? No, we didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it. Just Jerry and Julian heard it. If it was communicated an elemental, Shade may have heard it. Yeah. Shade might have heard it. Or if someone just happens to mention it sometime around Shade and party, then, you know. Well, we're not... We haven't met. We haven't we met. Yet. In the, in the, you know, we haven't the got there yet. We haven't yeah. got there yet. Once we get back up, if someone just says something about, so what did that hurricane thing mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'll happen. It'll it will happen. happen. But it's oh. one of those. It could happen. <laughs> so, so two two major touchstones got hit on for Jordan mythology here. One mirrors. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. 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 And nobody broke them. <laughs> we weren't afraid of them. No. That's how good of a campaign this has been. It has totally sucked us in and we forgot anything <laughs> Angel's Guard. Yeah. You, you've forgotten something that's key for my own overarching mythology. Yeah. For all the campaigns and one shots that we've done. 
mirrors are always bad. <laughs> and two, Mayan deities are behind everything. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zilboba. But there was no mirrors in... Uh, Hamu's in Cobb. Terry Proxmus, was there? No. no. Uh, yes, there was. The very first episode when Carlin's oh, yeah. character killed... Yeah, when Carlin... Oh, he was looking sure. in the mirror when... when uh, uh, what's his game? Knocked on the door. And then he was killed he? the guy. Yeah, he was. Reflecting upon his person and his life. Uh-huh. It was the only mirror we saw. Like, yeah. Yeah, it was wow. the only mirror. And then we talked about how much of a role the side shots have played in season two so far. Yeah. Like I said, I already, I already thoroughly enjoyed that we came back to the Street Kids. Mm-hmm. Like, thoroughly enjoyed. And we even had the school reference come up last session. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you got some closure on what on happened that. to them. And I was saying, I was thinking the two, there are four side shots. Two can be grouped into two different groups. Or a different type of episodes that show something a little bit different. You got the school episode... And you've got the water plant episode that show the uh, darkness of the council. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, investigators and the street kids that gave hints of what's to come in season two. Yeah. That's that's interesting because we didn't, I don't think we, no, we didn't, we we definitely didn't didn't plan it that way. No. Because the intent, the intent for all those episodes was to show the more darkness of the council. Uh-huh. Yeah. But that's that was what I... we went into. <clears throat> and, I mean, just by, I think, the role that the investigators had to make <laughs> to get the confession out of Chrome. <laughs> that was a was, fun that, episode. That, that was a very fun episode. That changed what that episode was going to be like and the, right. the impact that episode had. Yeah. Right. And then the, the street kids... Where just naturally where it left off, it was like, oh, we've got to see these street kids again some, right. at some point. Right. Mm-hmm. Especially with, you know, they made the connection with character that we'd already seen before. and Yeah. So, so. I wanted to show you the image that kind of helped oh. inspire the council. The black hole. Ah. Uh. Like the movie The Black Hole? The movie The Black uh-huh. Hole. So, and here I'm, I'm picturing Mysterio. Yeah. Minus the purple cape. Yep. <laughs> I remember the I fell asleep. The, the androids mm. okay. from the movie were this really influential thing because then you take off the mask and it's all the crewmen who have died. That's creepy. Oh. But anyway, the side shots have actually had a huge influence on the mythology of the show, which I never really expected coming into the second season. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it was like... Oh, these things all just kind of tie together in ways that are... You see that happen so often in TV shows, oh, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Where they get to the second a random season episode. and they throw a random episode in and they're like, Oh, that was really cool. And they Let's bring it in later that. in in the season and it builds into this big overarching thing that lasts into... Yeah, until yeah, like, it happens all the time. Like, like third bring, and fourth season. They bring in a throwaway mm-hmm. character in one episode and they're like... Wow, we really like what that character did. Let's yeah. bring him in as a more permanent character. Well, it's like um, the actually the 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 show that reminds me the most of this is Fringe. Yeah, oh, yes. Fringe is such a great show. It's a fantastic so show. But like you, we got those episodes towards the end of the third season. That's like this one shot of them going into the future or something mm-hmm. like that. It's yeah. like, what is this? And then the entire season last five. season. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of my favorite episodes is when they go into the cartoon world. Oh, oh yeah. Uh-huh. Belly, why are you a cartoon? <laughs> why are you not a cartoon? <laughs> I liked their musical episode, too. Yes. They, they did a great oh, job with Oh, man. That's like, such a great show. What about the animals? Because we've been kind of talking about animals <sighs> in maybe this context. They've enslaved the animals. Well, it's it's uh, What I found weird about the animals was... How all of the sudden, they're all freaking out and bonded to elementals and like they sent out the the dog collector to yeah. well, they, bring in slaves. Yeah, it's like whoever whether it's Fire Drakes or the Council, there's a shift in what they're doing. Yeah, to achieve their goals. So it Julian even hinted at this in game that it should be common knowledge that. Elementals can bond to animals because that's how it happens well, yeah. first. But it's like I pointed out, it's the in the city you just don't see that. That's a out in the wild thing. Well, I mean, maybe 
Because, I, mean, I mean, when Julian first met Serrani, he was concerned more about the dog being the proxy than <laughs> who Serrani was. That's right. That was a, that was a concern that yeah. Julian had and, and expressed back at the time. Yeah. Honestly, I started pulling on that thread specifically because of Archie. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It was just weird to me how it was all of a sudden they're collecting all the animals because... And they're... enslaving them. Yeah, they're all bonded to elementals now. But it's been going on for a little while. Remember your love letter. Hmm? Your love letter? What? I oh, sent you all a love letter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, that one. <laughs> Did you hear what it said when you said your love letter? I was like, from Gaspar? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Jer, you're cute. Hugging <laughs> kisses. Gaspar. Gaspar. Yeah, I had to figure out some way to get you guys on board with the general story idea. I was thinking that the kids have started noticing the soldiers appearing over time. Yeah. And which, and honestly, which kids. is why, in that animals. first episode, why I chose for Bear just to go out there. Yeah. And mm-hmm. confront the soldiers rather than stay hidden. One, he had developed a relationship with Sarani and the dog. And they had noticing that there's these people that are after these animals, taking these animals. So mm-hmm. that let me show that Bear is so much different than the other street kids. Mm-hmm. In right. His thinking and how right. he yeah, approaches yeah, problem solving and it. And his program. He's, he's more upfront. Yeah. Yeah. More like, even all. in the park, just chasing after Archie. Yeah. Hey, it's you! Hey, food! Hi. Food, give me food! <laughs> Baby! I recognize you from the from the bar. You're the guy! You see more <laughs> You know, that's so funny. I, I had made the joke about Archie working at the Slippery Weasel, mm-hmm. but I, I didn't really think that was really a thing until... Ellie said, oh yeah, I used to work at a bar, but it blew up, so I'm trying to find another... <laughs> Did she know that we blew up a bar? I thought I, I made a joke it. about it in the in the chat. About yeah, I think, you might have. I think you did. You about might have made a yeah. joke about, about bar blowing, blowing up. up. Yeah. But, I mean, things like that honestly have happened when she's been building the character. She's mm-hmm. like, whoa, let me do this. Holy crap, that is already a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so she she was on... She's just, she was getting the vibes that the elementals were laying down. Yeah. So when Sarani, when you went and saw Sarani's dead body, her mouth started moving, I had a total flashback to Alien. Oh, no. With the I, android in that, that when they killed the android, his mouth was... Rah, rah, rah. I had a flashback to X-Files when and Scully so, would see her father. Yeah. And he couldn't talk, but just was moving his mouth. Let's see. I, <laughs> I went to Alien because it's an android. Yeah. Yeah. So you had talked about... Serrani also your intentions at the start was to make Serrani more a a regular NPC and And now Serrani was a two episodes and done yep character again you can't choose like you can't really go with your own expectations like is a minor character going to stay minor or is a major character going to become something smaller well I mean like Serrani was probably meant to be a bigger character Bear was not meant to be a big character, but is sticking around. <laughs> yeah, Serrani was supposed to be bigger than Katari. Katari was really... <laughs> really? Katari wow. Was, I, I never saw, the, I I never saw that coming. No. I always mm-hmm. thought Katari was supposed to be a big character. And from what I remember, Serrani was more like a, hey, come come talk well, to me when you get a chance kind of conversation. Well, see, when we first and then met Serrani... Like, Meh. Right. We all walked away from her. <laughs> when we first found that Serrani was an android, it's when we were going to meet Katari. With Gaspar's with, body. Yeah. Yeah. And... I had a feeling then that she was going to be basically taking over the lead from Katari. From Katari. That was my impression. So I'm trying then, to figure out what happened then that made that not happen. Like, why did yeah, we. Yeah, I don't remember why that didn't Because we were looking for Katari for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> and, we just, and that's a whole hideout thing. Yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah, well, that, bit, that crumb trail went nowhere. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was really actually kind of frustrating me for the full, full last season. Was I kept on laying down on crumb trails, and you guys were like, "Yeah, no, <laughs> no thanks, no, no thanks. I'm not going to deal with this Gaspar character. He's annoying." You know? <laughs> <laughs> that was all 
<laughs> not gonna that deal with Jer. my crippling fear of fire. That's that it. All Jer. That was all Chine. Yeah, Chine had to deal with fire and. Not gonna deal with this thing that might hook into my secu- serial killer investigation. Oh wait, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but then my building got exploded, so that's gone. <laughs> I tried to deal with my uh, and then fire thing. Sarani is like, I like animals. <laughs> Sam's like, that's great. I like animals too. <laughs> Let me go kill someone's mother and give them a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember if Sam is like all animals or specifically cats. And so Sam likes cats. I think it was cats. That's that's what I decided over okay. the past couple of days. Let's go ahead and talk about character points and everything like that. How does 10 sound to you all? Yay. Yeah, I go with ten. Twenty would be nice, but I'll take Only 10. ten. Usually you hand out like fifteen. Lies. You, you usually hand out like fifty. Ten Johnny, isn't gonna... <laughs> you're not helping. Ten isn't gonna get me anything. Johnny with his six birthdays in one month. That's right. <laughs> ten is gonna get me a whole lot of nothing, but I guess I'll take it. Ten is gonna get me. 12, character points. 12, Twelve character points to use next time. It's a buffer. Yes. It's a buffer at this point. Uh huh. We did use really character points tonight quite a bit. I I only use fate points, so I didn't use any yes. character points because I started out with not but a whole lot to start off with. Jeff used character point. Two. He used two character points. She used three character points <laughs> on her first session. Ouch. That was like going to the next one. The dice rolls were harsh on her. Yeah, the they were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Time to vote. What are we voting for first? Let's go ahead and go with snacks. That's easier than some of the ones. You say it's easier, but it, there are so many good snacks. I mean, objectively <sighs> speaking, food is a lot Apple easier to Apple chips were boss. Uh, th- those were garlic boss. zucchini chips. The garlic zucchini chips were good. The meatballs. The meatballs were, oh, the meatballs the meatballs were so good. The, the ginger, the blackberry ginger meatballs. I thought the buffalo ones were way the better. The zucchini and squash pasta was eh. It was good. It was good, but it was... It was subpar. Ellie made some really good chocolate chip. Oh, yeah, that's oh, really yeah. very good that's chocolate chip cookies. Yes. Very good entry for a, a first timer. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. I feel it's one of those weeks that had any one thing been brought on a different night, yeah. it could have worked. It could have worked. Yeah. It's like it's so funny how it's like some weeks it's all like, oh yeah, let's go ahead and break out the gourmet food, and then other weeks it's like, I grabbed a bag of chips. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the Takis still won that one. Oh, the Takis yeah, yeah, did win. Hey, 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 there was gourmet food that night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny how it works out sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Ellie actually told me her vote for food before she left. She actually said meatballs. My vote is going for those buffalo meatballs as well. My vote's for the meatballs. Sweet. Because my vote was definitely for the garlic chips. I, I could those tell were... as soon as you had the first one that Johnny was sold on those garlic chips. I, I, were so I could not stop eating those. So was that a recipe you found online or is that just something you've done before? Uh, Kim did this other version of, of zucchini chips and I was like, huh, if I do it a little bit differently, I can make different flavors of these zucchini chips. So I just tried it out. Nice. So. Good job. Yeah. Good. They were very good. I like the apple chips. Apple, apple chips. The apple good. chips were so good. So good. I had to. I had to have like one and say, "Okay, I'm done." Because yeah. if I had had any more of those, I would have had stomach cramps for those. Yeah, I had a few of the apple so chips, good. but the, the, the garlic. The garlic ones were the best out of the three. All right, but it seems like the meatballs. The meatballs are good. Yes. The moonshine was good too. <laughs> yeah, the well, moonshine that was, was very good. good. That wasn't in the running. That was because yeah. we had this whole discussion on different things Smooth. to put with your drinks. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, so it sounds like meatballs get meatballs. the points. Meatballs get the. I was hoping this would buffalo chicken meatballs. You 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 came for the one point. Yep. Uh, and now role playing. Uh, who had the best role playing tonight? So that one's really tough because there was a lot more action uh-huh. and not as much on the heavy role play. As we normally so, do. Yeah, for main characters, there wasn't a whole for main lot of yeah. role play yeah. other than Archie. Yes. Because um, yeah. oh, yeah. most of the session, honestly, seems like it was the main characters were along for the ride, and it was the Archie and Bear show. Yes. Yeah. I, which, which I thought was fair to Archie because... Oh, yes. Archie yeah, Archie yeah, definitely. Because yeah. introduction. introducing a new character, and we're not complaining about it. <laughs> and, well, and at first, I thought Archie was being very harsh. <laughs> towards everybody that he interacted with. And then I realized, oh, that's the character. Yeah. And so I, that would be my vote. My vote would be Archie. Archie. As well. <laughs> Every time Archie opened his mouth, 
in the council, in front of the council, and was like, yes, oh <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I cringed every time. She Everybody was cringing. <laughs> every time I'm like, Archie well, she just made this brand new character, and she's going to have to make another new one. <laughs> That's exactly what we all thought. It's like, oh, all right. <laughs> I, I wasn't cringing. I thought it was great. I mean, well. Cringing because we were worried for her. Yes. More as, as players, seeing how things have unfolded, and when the council has been referenced before, making those some of those bold statements in front of somebody that was potentially the council was yeah. like, <gasps> yeah, oh yeah. no, yeah. I, I saw like everybody yes. else in the room just like tense, like, yes. Jer- Jeremy and I were over here cringing in the corner, like, oh. like literally there was a physical reaction. Uh-huh. It was great. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was great. thought. That he was and going she to die. just kept going at him. We were like, no, no, no. I don't think she looked at any of you. She was just looking at me and yes. the character sheet for that entire thing. And I'm like, one thing great. I did really appreciate of what Ellie did was took that potential train wreck of a situation that unfortunately Trace caused at the beginning. <laughs> yes. And resolved it in a way that was very archy. Yeah. But. If you look at the rest of the role play, it was uh-huh. still very, uh, very archy. It's like, like separated uh, doll from the bag. It's like, well, all right, I hate you guys, but <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> this was fun. Yes, <laughs> that was good. Come do my, uh, <laughs> do my bidding. Ch- child labor laws don't apply in the council. Let's right, go. <laughs> right, right. Come on, we've got to go uh, see Thursday. Oh, uh, that was a great addition as well. Yes, I. I do like that tie together. Yeah, it was it was a solid tie to tie Julian to a character that now also knows Archie. Yeah, I uh, thought that was a good tie together, and then Katari knew that person as well. I thought that was a great tie in. And now we have a dedicated dealer. No. <laughs> <laughs> we now have as soon as as soon as as soon as Jordan was like, "Yeah, there's this Elix guy," but uh, yeah, I was like, "All right, we're gonna play it that way." All right, fine. Julian doesn't like him either. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Sam almost murked him as soon as we walked in. <laughs> that would be excellent. <laughs> that was such a strong feeling that it's like, he's got to die. He's got to die. I will See, I, if you had if it, shade... <laughs> if it had role played out, it was going to be so much more banter about the quality of weapons because you notice I said, Julian gets the rifle and immediately starts to take it apart. Yeah, I see. <laughs> right, right. And I was going to, if it ever came back to it, Julie, you could see Julian reach out and piece, take out a piece of rifle part and say, yeah, and this should be here. And then put it back together. <laughs> yeah. So we're saying, we're going to agree that Archie won Archie the yeah. best role yes. play. Yeah. Yep. I would say so. Yeah. Now here's the hardest question of the evening. Character advancement. Character, character advancement. Character the most. Bear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bear's Bear. not even a character. Yeah. I, I feel like I moved the, the plot oh, yeah. exponentially. The, the plot oh, moved yeah. Yeah, definitely. a bunch t- tonight. There was not a whole lot of... I mean... The easiest thing to say is Archie because new character. It's a new yeah. character. We've learned the most about that yeah. that character. Yeah. I, for that's easiest, but that's also it's ex- expected. Well, Everything is going to be I, an advancement. Correct. Um, I'm going to go with with uh, Chime because of that split second when Chime heard just his at name the very end and just like and turned took around and took a shot. Didn't freeze. No I mean, didn't do a lot of things that we would have expected from Chime in that situation. Yeah. He was running in panic from the fire until he heard his name. Right. Yeah, it, but every character sort of had that similar yeah. type of feel tonight where it was just this one quick flash of something yeah. that showed where they were at at mentally or as far as their character development yeah like i mean the only thing i can think of with with julian you just got to see how fed up and frustrated he is at the this whole situation he just, like, yeah. he just got just, very short with everybody yeah and just like let's going. let's Keep go going. let's go let's go and you saw jer being like all right let's get moving since we're gonna do this let's do it right and he took the lead on scouting out the way. There was a lot of great stuff tonight. There was. Yeah, my point is saying I do agree that that was a big step for Chime. But again, that's a flash in the pan kind of yeah. thing. I mean, there's no way around to give, give the point to Archie. to Archie. 
Okay. So you you say oh, yeah yeah I, I would say there's no way around it because we definitely learned the most yeah yeah I mean other than yeah. the side character of Bear but yeah well and Archie also as far as character advancement went became attached to someone who at the beginning of the, <laughs> of the day he tried to run away from just, <laughs> yeah I think kids to, tried to leave almost took like a hero stance for this kid he didn't even like. Yeah, yeah, it was Go willing. Archie. Was willing to. There was an easy out, right? Uh huh. And didn't take it. <laughs> Literally from the GM, there was a. Just take this. This is this is free for you. Just let the kid die. Yeah. And no. Yep. And that's when I says, and here it comes, because that's the moment I thought it was going to be like, oh, the dog is going to come, and somehow Bear is going to get left behind. And you know, if it was and, any of the rest of us, Bear would have been dead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No questions asked. <laughs> Most of us would have thrown Bear at the dog at the beginning. Yes. <laughs> Julie, Without even no, no, no. Julian season one would have saved Bear. Yes. Julian season two would have probably shot Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Jer would have done his best to only after save Bear, an except for yeah, seeing it was an android would have just the mercy felt coming. less like a, the dog's gonna get you. Sorry, bye, kid. <laughs> seeing that it was an android would have been like. Eh. Less remorse for the loss. Yes. Was it immoral, amoral of me to offer? <laughs> I would call it amoral. I mean, uh, it's not a moral choice. Save yourself or save somebody else. I mean, okay, yes it is. But <laughs> for you to offer the choice... To is, offer an incentive to make a negative choice. To, okay. To offer the choice, I would call it amoral. Can offer the incentive to make the negative. Oh, that's deep. And here's okay. Here's I like it because it shows a lot about the character of Archie. Yes. Because one of and we didn't go she's directly committed to over. The she, yeah, it's committed to meet people. He's committed to it. Did we didn't go directly over the the her character sheet, uh, Ellie's character sheet? But one of the disadvantages she chose for Archie was devotion. Oh. So okay, so once yeah. she latches the Archie latches onto something, all the she's way. like full in. So 100%. Archie also should have gotten an extra fake point for tonight for, for complication. Yeah. Is that the way? Is that how that, it works in this? That works in this. I'll have to look that up because I know that the complications in mini six work that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be curious to know. If yeah, the, I don't think the complication that way. Taking the complication gives you, extra, give you points. extra points to build your character with. Yeah, right, yeah. that's right. But I do, I do prefer getting the hero point when your your complication is invoked. I think that that's a little bit. More. I think it's a it's a pretty neat rule to do. Yeah. That. Well, I don't see that working very well for this campaign because Julian would get it every scene. So, right. So, 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 his, so a chime. Yeah. Yeah. I think the way that we built the characters. We we all would because it was complication Sam's forward. Is yeah. Disadvantage is a secret. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which one? The oh. man. Okay, which one? <laughs> Thank you. I'll take moment. my fate point now. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a great moment. That was awesome. Either that or we just found out that Chime's not a man. That's a surprise to Chime. <laughs> <laughs> well, most things in this campaign have been a surprise to Chime, so... <laughs> All right, I think that pretty much wraps yeah. up this uh, this commentary episode. Yeah. Yeah. Any any last thoughts? Uh, just I'm excited for where things go from here. I'm excited. Sam actually got to kill Crom. So oh, at the at the at the oh end, yeah, we completely forgot about that. Oh <gasps> yeah, we didn't we didn't we didn't resolve that either. At the end of the last session, the, we had all decided to go rescue Crom. Katari wanted Crom dead. dead. Yes, Sam wanted to kill Crom. Yeah, uh, Julian would have been okay killing Crumb. Oh, okay. Well, then no, everybody's happy. Uh, well, at <laughs> at, at, at first, first, at first, yeah. Julian's like, eh, "No, let's find, it. let's get this." We maybe tend to we lean towards more guy, towards the lawful out, good type. <laughs> figure out what's. But I think at the point last session when Julian figured out was, "Oh, Crumb knows where this piece is. He's the only one that knows where this piece is. If he can't tell anybody where this piece is, there's no problem." Right. If he gets gotta die, he's gotta die. And that's where I was presented with the perfect opportunity. To, he he was being tortured. It was both a mercy killing and this guy needed to die. So I was like, all right. But we didn't resolve that. My, part of my question was, 
because we figured out if the person is an actual proxy and they're bonded with something and they die, that violent death reaction. and reaction of being disbonded causes something to happen. So we said within case of fire, I mean, just upstairs, Jared and Julian killed the, oh, and the thing and then the dog was about to explode into flames because the fire elemental was disbonding. And in the last session, somebody had said Krom was, was just, just a normal man or something yeah. like that. I don't remember the exact wording. So Julian took that as, oh, he wasn't. But then the, as players, we questioned that. Right, right. So that's why I was asking that. And they so were he's like, oh, he just killed him. What just happened? And the guy said, pushing something out. How much do you want me to tip my hand? No. no. Well. I would only want the hand to be tipped as much as we would have learned at the moment. At the moment. So we, if there was a reaction, there probably w- it would have been seen, yeah. at least the effects of it for the people that were there. Crawl was normal. Okay. okay. What the Void was doing was pushing out his spirit. Oh. His oh, so they can control it. Well, that's different. Or is it? No. It definitely is different. Or like, is there you, two and, different types of bonding? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking. It's two different types of bonding. It's they're they're enslaving. One is a pure bond, bond. and one is a takeover. Yeah, okay. and I think they're doing the enslavement. Huh. That's interesting. I like it. Like, think about all of the animals that you've seen. Yeah, exactly. They've all been forced bonds. Well, yeah, but there's been forced bonds before that have been actual bonds. Yes. Happens out in the field in the military. Well, that's what happened to Jer. Or maybe there's a difference between a forced bond. Oh, so you, Jer was forced bonded. Yes. No. Well, he he chose to be bonded, but he was forced bonded with one that he didn't want to be bonded to. He wanted to be bonded to Earth. And that's the whole thing that started off the prologue was, what's his face? Um, Pelic? Pelic, I think. Pelic. Pelic. Was, was forced bonded forced in the wild. Bonded. Yeah, that's right. And it mentally unbalanced him. It did. Yeah. But it was still Pelic yeah. at points. So maybe there are just maybe two uh, different types of bonding. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It's interesting. Because honestly, Julian's mother was still Julian's mother. Correct. So, you know, like a forced bonding where the, the elemental takes up residence with yes. the spirit. But then there was. Like a ghoul. But yeah. but then there there was the question, since Aelin was so young, was the, did Aelin ever have an actual personality of her own? Yeah. So I mean, and it. also the question is, it was it is it voluntary or or is it forced? You know, what does that do for a person in terms of their psyche? Yeah. Right. But we have we have people who are always voluntarily proxies. Yes. Yeah. There's and voluntary some, proxies and some people who are involuntary proxies. Yes. So what we were having here. Was an involuntary. The void, creating a void. Oh my gosh! I just figured out what the void. If it is truly is innate, what the power? It's like the anti-Julian. Yeah. Julian can push out the elemental. The void can push out the person. The person. Oh, that, that's that's bad. Gosh. So someone's directly doing the opposite of what Julian is trying to learn how to do. <laughs> Julian has his arch nemesis. Nice. And you've only met a portion of the council. Oh, so that is the council. That is part of the council. They Jordan. say they're the council. They did say they were the council. Well, not directly, but... Well, well it yeah. was inferred that they were the council. It was inferred, but I know how you are with your choice of words. <laughs> I said precisely what I meant to say. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> Which not doesn't mean anything to state, us. <laughs> not a blanket statement that this is the thing. <laughs> yeah. This is this is what this I is, want you to think. I'm going to say this, hoping that you'll think this is the thing. Yeah. That's part of that's part of the joy. Is like, do they choose the right crumb trail, or do they choose something completely different, and then I blow their minds even more when they come back. Or let me say and this then we thing have commentary that can sessions be, that give them all the ideas for next time. <laughs> let me say this thing that can mean three different things, and whatever they take the theory of, I'm going to make it completely different. <laughs> Do you know how often you say something that is completely different from what I say, and I take it and I and I make it that? Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, it's like, okay, well, so this is what they want. I'll go ahead and give it to them. And then some of the things. I'm no, like, oh, it's what we fear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. Which 
did you do, Ray? <laughs> I heard that so many times tonight. Yes. Yeah, that's my new statement for everyone playing with this group because it happens so often. Yeah. All right, well, All right, thank you so much. That was a good much. last edition. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good night. Thank you for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. Our cast is Aaron, Ellie, Jeff, Jeremy, Johnny, and Jordan. We are releasing this podcast under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 3.0 unported license. That means you can share the podcast, but please do not modify it or try to gain financially from it. If you would like to visit our website, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater.com. If you'd like to send us an email, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Our Twitter handle is bonethrowerstheater. You can also look us up on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, may the bones fall ever in your favor. This has been a Nerd Circle podcast production.